The surah takes its name from verse 2 to 4 in which the word Ashura occurs. Period of revelation. The subject matter and style show and the tradition confirm that it was revealed during the middle Makkan period. According to Ibn Abbas, Surah Tawha was revealed first then Surah al waqiyah and then Surah Ash-Shu'ra. Ruhul Mani, Volume 20, page 64, refers. About Surah Taha, it is well known that it had been revealed before Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu embraced Islam. Subject matter and topic of this Surah. The background of the Surah is that the disbelievers of Makkah were persistently refusing on one pretext or the other to accept the message of Islam given by the Holy Prophet Sometimes they would say that he did not show them any sign to convince them of his prophethood. Sometimes they would brand him as a poet or a sorcerer and mock his message and sometimes they would ridicule his mission saying that the, his followers were either a few foolish youth or the poor people and slaves whereas they argued if his mission had uh, really if his if his mission had really some value for the people the noble and the elders would have accepted it first Thus, while on the one hand, the Holy Prophet ﷺ was becoming worried by his effort to show them rationally these errors of their creed and prove the truth of the doctrines of Tawheed and the hereafter, the disbelievers on the other were never tired of adopting one kind of abduracy after the other. This state of affair was causing great anguish and grief to the Holy Prophet Such was the condition when this surah was revealed. It begins with words of consolation to the Holy Prophet implying, Why do you fret for their sake if these people have not believed in you? It is not because they have not seen any sign, but because they are abdurate. They will not listen to reason. They want to see a sign which makes them bow their heads in humility. When this sign is shown in due course of time, they will themselves realize that what was being presented to them was the truth. After this introduction, till verse 191, one and the same theme has been presented continuously and it is said the whole earth abounds in such signs as can guide a seeker after truth to reality but the stubborn and misguided people have never believed even after seeing the sign whether these were the signs of the natural phenomena or the miracles of the Prophet uh, Prophet These rest people have stubbornly adhered to their erroneous creeds till the divine scourge actually overtook them. It is to illustrate this that the history of seven of the ancient tribes has been told who persisted in disbelief just like the disbeliever of Makkah. In this connection, the following points have been stressed. The signs are of two kinds. Number one, 
those which are scattered all over the earth and by saying which an intelligent person can judge for himself whether what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam is presenting is the truth or not and second those which were seen by pharaohs and his people noah's people the ard and the smooth lutes people and the people of aika now it is for the disbeliever to decide which kind of the signs they are eager to see the mentality of the disbeliever has been the same throughout the ages their arguments and their objections and their excuses and subtle fuse for not believing have been similar and ultimately the fates that have met have also been the same likewise the prophet alaihi salatu wassalam in every age presented the same teaching their personal character and their reasoning and arguments against their opponents were the same and they were all similarly blessed with mercy by allah almighty both these pattern of behavior and conduct are found in history and the disbelievers could themselves see as to which respective patterns they and the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam belonged allah is almighty all powerful and all merciful at the same time history contains instances of his wrath as well as his mercy now therefore it is for the people to decide whether they would like to deserve allah's mercy or his wrath lastly the discussion has been summed up saying o oh, disbelievers if at all you want to see the sign why should you insist on seeing those horrible signs that visited the doomed community of the past why don't you see the quran which is being presented in your own language why don't you see muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and his companions can the revelation of the quran be the work of a satan or a jinn does the recipient of the quran appear to be a sorcerer are muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and his companion no different from a poet and his admirers why don't you give up this belief and search your hearts for their judgment when in the heart of your hearts you yourself believe that the revelations of the quran have nothing in common with sorcery and poetry then you should know that you are being cruel and unjust and will certainly meet the doom meant for the cruel and unjust alhamdulillah we have completed today the study of surah ashura may allah grant us understanding of the points mentioned in this surah and also to follow the sunna of our prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam amen kindly subscribe jamil tv thanks